So is 2017 going to be the year for AMD? It certainly looks promising with Ryzen CPUs set to be released in just a month or two and Vega GPUs expected to be released by the third quarter 2017. Things are shaping up to really propel the momentum of AMD and Team Red. So let's get right into this video with AMD in 2017, Ryzen, Vega, and the 10 reasons you should buy AMD in 2017, starting off with number one. We have gotten a little preview of the flagship Ryzen 8 core 16 threaded monster when it debuted and also at CES 2017, stacked up against the i7-6900K from Intel delivering comparable or superior performance, albeit in the select and limited benchmarks that we were privy to see. But doing a PC build myself quite recently with AMD's FX 8350, yes, the original gangster from 2012, it's pretty clear to everybody that we have not seen much at all from AMD on the CPU side of things in years. This has given Intel a lot of time to fortify the castle walls and get us bound to, used to, accustomed to small marginal gains from one desktop processor generation to the next. But AMD is set to have the opportunity to come in and take the fight to Intel, light the fire under the butt of the blue giant and bring the competition back to the market. And that's what Ryzen is set to do in just a month or two. There's a lot to be excited about. So let's move on now to number two and touch upon the AM4 sockets, bringing you all the best that motherboard manufacturers have to offer. With steel reinforced slots, M.2 connectors, U2 ports on select boards, overclock buttons, and extensive IOs ready for even the greatest enthusiast. And with Crossfire and even that SLI certification on the Enthusiast X370 motherboards that we got to see quite a few of at CES 2017 that are set to hit the market. And moving on to number three, it's really refreshing to see AMD's Ryzen having support for overclocking across all SKUs. The Enthusiast X370 motherboards and mainstream B350 chipset, both with overclock support. So for those jaded recently by Intel creating entire SKUs, a lineup by locking processors, and even when the Tech 70 found a way to overclock non-K series lock CPUs by using older BIOS and appropriate motherboard, Intel was swift to stop the party and ensure BIOS updates blocked this feature. So if the excitement of Ryzen's flagship eight core 16 thread were not enough, there is actually gonna be an entire lineup, an entire stack that's gonna hit the market with this processor in a month or two. So for those of you with various budgets, whether it be more budget friendly or you wanna go really high end with that flagship processor, there's gonna be an option for you. So moving in along now to number five, and that's with AMD's promise of longevity on the AM4 socket, that is at least until 2020, saying that new CPUs along the way will fit into these motherboards as well as the new APUs. So for those of you who are hesitant on pulling the trigger on a different platform, you will know that you're gonna have support from this platform for years to come, and you're not gonna have to worry about replacing both the motherboard and the processor if you wanted to do an upgrade. And also, this is really friendly for first time builders, really simplifying the process and taking out any confusion in that compatibility of processor to motherboard. And moving along now to number six, focusing on the Sense MI technology within the AMD Ryzen processors, making an intelligent processor that's looking to be a real game changer. So Sense MI is comprised primarily of five technologies, enabling it to learn on the fly, sense and adapt to its environment. And under that Sense MI umbrella, up first we have neural net prediction, that's machine learning, an AI neural network that can self-train, learn, and predict. And then there's Smart Prefetch. This anticipates the data needed and has it ready beforehand. And next there's the Pure Power and Precision Boost technology. With hundreds of sensors that sense the chip's environment to automatically give the highest speed and lowest power for each part of your chip with incredible accuracy in just milliseconds. And not even mentioning the extended frequency range within Ryzen that enables higher clocks depending on its environment, depending on temperature. So whether you're rocking an air cooler, water cooler, or even LN2, you name it, it'll automatically enable higher clocks depending on temperature. And if you happen to watch my video back in June 2016 called The Four Horsemen of AMD, well, it foresaw the coming change 
the unprecedented level of performance we would see on the GPU front from both AMD and Nvidia with a never before seen performance per dollar ushering in a new era of PC gaming the PC gaming hardware market just now exceeding $30 billion for the first time in history. And this aided in large part to AMD's Art of War like strategy and focus on the $100 to $300 graphics card market, where it really knocked it out of the park with graphics cards like the RX 470, RX 480, making VR systems more affordable than ever and crushing 1080p gaming, even excelling in many cases at that 1440p gaming resolution with the settings cranked up and a card like the RX 470 at just over $150 really knocked the price to performance out of the park. And if you did watch my top five graphics cards to buy in early 2017, you probably noticed that lack of Team Red in the higher end where the Nvidia GTX 1070 and 1080 are just so dominant without any answer from Team Red. But that's the really exciting prospect of Vega set to be released within the first half of 2017 we got to see a bit of a preview of vega when ryzen was debuted as well as at ces 2017 seeing doom run max settings at 4k at around 70 frames per second and star wars battlefront 4k ultra settings hitting that 60 fps 60 hertz refresh limit on the 4k display it was showing off the vega architecture on so this is just a preview of what's to come but let's say at minimum it's going to provide some competition to the 1070 to the 1080 and very optimistically could surpass the 1080 and if it's released before something like the 1080 ti not only is this going to provide an alternative for gamers to choose from from the gtx 1070 and 1080 which is great since it's known that profit margins are larger on the higher end gpus nvidia just raking in the dough right now on the gtx 1070 and 1080s i know a lot of you are reluctant to drop 600 dollars on a graphics card even if you do get doom 70 fps at 4k ultra settings so at minimum this is going to bring the competition to nvidia bringing us into the realm of game theory that is how amd's pricing and nvidia's pricing reacts to each other whether they stay high which could be great for both of them giving them nice hefty profit margins helping amd and nvidia continue to innovate and spur on that competition and if there is a price war where they try to undercut each other that's a fear of mine even if amd delivers performance with vega that's comparable to the competition upon its release with nvidia's marketing its coolness factor its brand recognition it may be hard for amd to capture market share nonetheless even if the performance is there so something to worry about and be cognizant of to vote with your wallet and i would be remiss if i didn't mention for number 10 amd's support commitment to driver optimization after the release of the hardware this is something that gamers have really reaped the benefit of that purchased that team red card whether it be the rx 460 470 480 there's been respectable performance gains that's after the hardware is released and this is the mentality that amd carries with it with raja at the helm the radeon rebellion only begins when you purchase the hardware the real gpu war comes after the hardware on the software side of the equation where there's always performance appreciation to be had and it's this focus and this emphasis that's really left a lot of pc gamers that went team red very satisfied with their purchases so it'll be no surprise if this commitment to driver optimization follows suit with the release of vega 10 and 11 to where you can see the best of your hardware yet to come so that's it for this video guys you let me know what you think in the comment section down below let me know what you're most looking forward to from amd or what you're most looking forward to from nvidia thumbs up if you like this thumbs up if you like this video if you're not subscribed to my channel awe of tech what are you waiting for guys be sure to hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on to be updated with my latest video you guys are the best can't wait to catch you guys in the next one peace